to reality. We're doing a really fun hood history look today. Can you guess? It's Scandinavia related, Norse mythology related. <laughs> We're talking about the Viking berserkers, which if you've never heard of them, I think that's normal. Um, but because of my unhealthy love for history, I know about them. <laughs> I think I learned about them when I was watching this documentary called Ancient Black Ops. <laughs> it was like um, black operatives of the ancient world. So it talked about like the, the 300 soldiers and they talked about ninjas and samurai and the viking berserkers uh they're very interesting i hope you stay tuned to listen to me talk about them and figure out how to do this viking berserker inspired look it feels a little bit high fashion um because the pompadour <laughs> the coiffed hair and um the purple lip and i did that because well i explain i explain it later i just want to start by showing you my cool hair okay I haven't done a look like this in a long time. This side looks better because of the ponytails here. But I just want you to get into the mood. Feel free to call me Hamish. I will respond to that. Um, and I'm going to start with, I'm going to mix together my primerizer and my foundation. So I don't want like a thick, heavy foundation look. I'm going to mix these together with a q-tip while I tell you about the Viking Berserkers. You guys, you're in for a treat. So the Berserkers lived, the Vikings, I mean it was during the Viking time, Viking age. Uh, so these Berserkers were in and around regular old-fashioned Vikings, okay? They were um, in Scandinavia, Norway, area um with all the other vikings that lived and they were called berserkers because that in old norse means bear shirt so i'll get into that in a second but this was around like 880 and the vikings lived it was like 793 to like 1025 or something so it's a couple hundred years um and it started to dissipate when a lot of Christian Crusades were taking place. So the Christian Crusades, oh, I should've used my new sponge. I bought a new sponge today, I should've used it. So the Crusades came in like while the Vikings were doing their thing and um, kind of put a stop to all that stuff. I'm gonna take another pump of each and mix those together. And these guys were just nuts. Like, there's a reason we still have the word berserk today, and it's because of these dudes. When we think of berserk, we think of, like, someone going crazy, um, and that was kind of, like, not crazy, like, lunatic, but crazy, like, go nuts. Like, just, well, these are all slang things that I'm using. Um, they were acting boldly out of the norm, <laughs> on purpose. Um, and, oh, I was going to do my eyes first and my base after. Well, too late. Okay, so we have to keep going with skin now that I've started. Good job, Amy. And I want, I don't want full, full coverage business happening. So I'm just going to put concealer where I absolutely need it on that blemish here. Okay, so these guys, um, were pretty well known in and throughout battles. So... They were known to not really feel pain, not really let anything stop them from continuing to like fight really intensely. They were known also for wearing animal skins. So they were known to wear bear skins or to wear wolf skins or things like that, which is where the term bear shirt came from. That kind of a dusting, I kind of packed it on certain areas and then I'll just dust over anything else. So there's just like a light film of powder over the whole face. Whoops, I meant to do contour before I did that. Whoopsies, I'll do contour later. Um, we're gonna start on the eyes, which is gonna be a pretty intense brown smoky eye. I'm going to start with primer because I'm mixing cream and powder products and I want to make sure they don't go anywhere. 
So these berserkers were known throughout battle to just be ruthless. Um, and they didn't usually dress or fight in any sort of like uniformity. <laughs> um, they kind of just like would do their own thing and kind of just go nuts. Um, which is why they're known as what they are. I'm going to take this uh, Sephora liner shadow pencil and uh, go right over the lash line pretty darkly. Then we'll blend it out. Um, so these guys didn't really follow any sort of like code or uniformity. They just kind of like were ruthlessly killers. And they had kind of their own tribe situation. So um, I'm pretty sure it was like hereditary. Like you got um, like sworn in if your dad was a berserker, stuff like that. I'm just using my fingers to blend this out. So I'm pretty sure it was hereditary. Um, just like any other Viking clan. And then I'm going to take on a flat brush, I'm going to take a brown, a dark brown, and go over where we put um, this. So young men would get sworn in with the other buddies they grew up with, you know, like any other clan or tribe. Okay, and then you take a fluffy blending brush and take a transition color. that in the crease and the reason these guys were so nuts there's a couple different speculations about why these guys were so nuts I'm gonna take a mix of that brown and transition color um, the theory I like to believe has to do with drugs <laughs> um, it just really I feel like explains well their situation um, so they would make this drink that was um, basically made of mushrooms um, and these specific mushrooms were called fly agaric mushrooms and not everyone believes this theory um, so it's kind of still debated by different historians but I think it's a good theory but basically these guys were known to be basically like drunk with like battle fury and as soon as they got on the battlefield, they, like, wouldn't feel pain. They had no mercy. Um, and they would just kill. And they wouldn't, like, nothing could stop them. Like, they didn't wear any armor except the animal skins. And they were pretty much unstoppable. Like, once they got going, there was no holding them back. I'm just going back in with this brown and taupe color and creating, um the shape of the eye that I want. I'm going to blend a lot with this taupe to transition it from that dark crease color to the brow bone. Um, and so uh, different tribes and kings and kingdoms would commission these dudes to fight battles for them because they would just like be crazy. I'm going to take a light shade and put it on my brow bone just to make sure that is distinct there. And so these guys would go through this crazy ritual of basically like becoming their animal um, like counterpart, kind of. Whether they were a wolf or a bear, <laughs> um, those are the common, common animals. I'm sure there are more. But whether they were a wolf or a bear, they would have a whole like ceremony and it, it would basically put them into this like trance <clears throat> where they were just unstoppable. Um, they would go throughout the battle and just like slaughter and not even think twice about it. Um, I'm going to take this brush that I used to pack on the brown and do my lash line, lower lash line. And I'm really gonna smoke this out. I don't normally, um, but I'm gonna this time. So I'm starting with that taupe color. You guys may get smoky around the outer edge of my eye as well. Um, and then taking that brown and just going over it. So with this mushroom mix, they would basically like, if the mushroom 
theory is true, um, they would get into this like hallucinogenic hypnotic state, become these animals, put on their skins, and transform into these like superhumans almost. I'm definitely going to do my brows um, because I want to look like a ruffian, obviously. But these guys, like, even though they're kind of crazy and, like, like such ruffians, they operated as a team. So, like, they definitely were still a clan. But on the battlefield, it was like anything goes. Like, they would even, they were even known to, like, kill each other on the battlefield just because they were just, like, going at it so intensely. They associated with the god Odin. So, like, Thor's dad. Um, the Norse god Odin, and so they were pretty cutthroat. I also meant to put on this primer. Wow, you guys are really getting to see the epitome of, like, real-life tutorial. I'm gonna do a pretty strong contour on my cheeks because I want to look fierce. Um, this is not looking as strong as I anticipated. There we go. That definitely helped. Um, so, of course, anyone who associates with a god, no matter the religion or the ethnicity, they always feel empowered by something greater than human force. Um, and so they felt like they had a special authority that other people didn't have. They would often like howl like dogs or growl like bears. Um, anything associated with their, like, animal. Another side effect that could have been caused by the mushrooms was, like, after battle. So, like, during battle, they couldn't be stopped. They couldn't be, like, reasoned with. They couldn't be, um, shot down. They couldn't be injured. Um, but after a battle, they would have, like, crashed completely. Um, so they would have been like, totally spent psychologically and physically as if they'd just gone through, like, some sort of trance. I'm just putting bronzer kind of all over my face. I want to look bronzed like a goddess, like a Norse goddess. <laughs> I'm not going to put any blush on. I want to go for really natural colors. I even debated putting freckles on, and then I decided that was a little too cutesy. So I didn't put any freckles on. And I do have a highlighter. I want to highlight some areas because I want to look fierce, like I've said. I'm using this cute brush. I love this highlighter. I think it's so pretty. It's very flesh colored. Um, I'm going to take a brush and put that under my brow bone. So them being pretty spent like physically after a battle is another reason why the um, mushroom theory holds true but I gotta be honest if I was fighting a battle I would be pretty spent afterwards as well I wouldn't be like full of energy I don't think during battle they were so like intoxicated with like bl battle lust is one of the ways that they describe it is that they would like like gnaw on their shields and they would like attack boulders and trees and each other and they would just be like not thinking straight like not thinking clearly and not being able to like, reason, like, oh, that's not the enemy. They would just be, like, Aah! and, like, rampage through, like, a village. They didn't even, like, think about the fact that they were basically the opposite of, like, Roman soldiers who had, like, a very strategic, like, high mental capacity and high physical capacity. Like, they're kind of the opposite. I want to put highlighter kind of all over because I want to seem kind of glowy, like I was outside fighting a battle. So I'm not going to be mad if I kind of overdo the highlight. Mm, this highlight is pretty. This is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Cosmetic. I feel the need to smoke out this lower lash line more. I'm not afraid to look a little bit sickly. Grungy. I'm not afraid of that look. After this. I like this. This is so fun. It's definitely its own type of grunge. So there are a lot of different mixed... Facts. I'm going to continue putting bronzer on because I feel the need to darken this contour a little bit more as well. Um, there are mixed facts about the Berserkers, mostly because people don't know if they, like they, it, one article said that I was reading, said they land somewhere between history and myth. So like, 
they're so obscure and strange that there's often like how the heck did these people actually exist like that doesn't seem real or right even though they did there are plenty of historical accounts about them um it just like they're so strange that it just doesn't seem like like a real tribe of people who like took very methodical recordings of all of their tribes activities like that's not really how they operated okay i'm gonna read this straight from the article because it explains it really well the most probable extra explanation for going berserk comes from psychiatry the theory is that the group of warriors through ritual processes carried out before a battle such as biting the edges of their shields went into a self-induced hypnotic trance in this disassociated state they lost conscious control of their actions which are then directed subconsciously people in this state seem remote have little awareness of their surroundings and have reduced awareness of pain and increased muscle strength critical thinking and normal social inhibitions weaken but the people are affected but the people affected are not unconscious I think that's so interesting because even without the mushrooms, they still could work themselves up into this like frenzy, like a self-induced hypnotic state. Like, I think that's so interesting. Um, but I also wouldn't doubt if drugs were involved because that sounds kind of crazy. Basically, they declined in popularity and population because the Christian crusades were happening. And so by the time Christians came around and started infiltrating the cultures, that way of living and thinking didn't line up with the crusaders convictions and the things they were trying to teach people about the christian god and the gospel so this says a christian society considered such rituals and actions as demonic and thought they must be have resulted from supernatural influences so either supernatural or drug influences <laughs> neither one were things the crusaders were excited about it says and it is understandable that the phenomenon disappeared after the introduction of christianity so that makes sense of why we don't really see them anymore genetically and like ethic ethnically not ethically well maybe i don't know i live in colorado so genetically and ethnically they might still exist but the um practice in terms of like a battle doesn't really exist anymore so i watched a really interesting documentary about the berserkers a while ago and i couldn't find it to replenish my brain grapes but um this made me think of them and i think it's really interesting I don't have any shimmer on my eyes except for under my brow bone, and I'm kind of okay with that. I think it's cool. Okay, but for lipstick, because it's in, like, Norway and Scandinavian stuff, I know stereotypically it can be very cold. Um, so I have my <laughs> purple zombie lipstick, which I think could work really well. Also, I just realized that I'm wearing this shirt in so many of my videos that are up and running right now. Just, it's one of my faves, okay? And I meant to change, but I didn't. But I thought about mixing it with this brown... Hmm. And I thought about just kind of blotting it on, not like swiping it on. So it's just like a, a blot of color. Let's try that. And if it doesn't work out, oh well. So the way that I blot it is I kind of dot it onto my lip and then take my finger and kind of run it across. So a very light application, but definitely still a color. How do we feel about that? I like it. I feel fierce. What do you guys think? Do we want any shimmer on these? Oh, I don't have any mascara on. You guys obviously have to do that. <gasps> Clearly. And before I do the bottom lashes, because I am going to do the bottom lashes this time, I'm going to take that same eyeshadow eyeliner pencil from Sephora and line my waterline. I want my eyes to be pretty fierce and lining the waterline I feel like just gives the eyes like a like a they're not as big they're definitely more piercing so that's that's what I feel like happens when you line the waterline maybe I should have done it in black that might have looked a little more fierce but I don't mind I think it still looks cool yeah because the brown you can still kind of see through but looks a little bit bloodshot that's interesting. Hmm. Well, here is my Viking Berserker look. Finally done. I think I might need to brush through my brows. They look a little rough. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I hope you feel like you know things about the Vikings that you didn't before. I think they're really interesting. 
if I had had time, I would have like crimped or braided my hair so that it had a little bit more texture to it, but I didn't because Joe woke up from her nap. <laughs> real life. Hashtag. That's real life. Um, I don't know how I feel about this lip color. I'm not mad about it, but I thought about doing just like a flesh colored. It would look different. This feels a little bit more high fashion. Fun fact, I can wiggle my ears one at a time. In case you didn't know that about me. Great. I think that's it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.